Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Reese number HD5A threshold. This is an epic piece of aluminum. It's about one point... Um, 1.8 pounds per foot, almost almost two pounds a foot. 1.8, 1.185. This threshold is rated to take vehicular traffic. Let's back up. This threshold is intended to take vehicular traffic. I don't know of any load rating that would apply, but where you're going to see this threshold is very likely going to be in the showroom of the auto dealership. You can see just how tremendously thick that extrusion is. The HD5A is indeed what this is. There's a link below this video to a document called Product Brochure where you can review lots of different saddle thresholds. And they don't make any statement as to um, any rating, like uh, a floor door that you would see in a concrete area, maybe in a parking lot. Those are vehicular rated and they're rated and those are there are specific codes and ratings for that material. This doesn't carry that, but I know from actual experience this is installed in situations where there will be reasonable weight at a very slow speed going over this threshold. And I've seen it used in car showrooms. Okay, that's where I've seen this. Uh, the dimensions of this item uh, are five by half making it a really common size for a saddle threshold. Five by half. And what really makes it substantial as well is they don't give us a wall thickness on the aluminum, but I'm curious to know. What they don't, uh, what also makes it substantial is the feature to the bottom of the threshold where it makes contact with the floor, and I'll point that out in a moment. Obviously, this has been cut, so there's a little flare on the end of the threshold. But it's going to have, to the top of the flute, 0 0.285, 0.285 inch thick to the top of the flute. That wall thickness right there between my fingers and my, my, uh, my um, pointer finger and my thumb, 0.285. That feature that I like a lot about this threshold are these ridges. So what you're going to be dealing with, I think, in a threshold like this is not only substantial force this way, but lateral force. And those ridges are really going to sink down and resist that sort of movement on the threshold. Now, if it was me, uh, I would certainly send this threshold with fasteners other than a number 10 by inch and a half flathead um, wood screw. I'd be looking for some 1024 uh, machine screws with some lead anchors. We can help you with that, but that's how I would be installing this immediately. I would drill that hole into the concrete. I would set that lead anchor down, set it down with the proper tool, run my machine bolt into it. I'd probably even use thread locker before I did that. Uh, I would get that put down as, as durably as possible. I would certainly run beads of caulk underneath each of the legs, uh, probably two beads under each, you know, so I can get that set down properly, then tighten it down. Not overdo it. You don't want to wipe a bunch of caulk off. Um, but really great looking piece of equipment. This comes in a dark bronze as well. I've not seen it in dark bronze installed but it would be an impressive piece of weather stripping because Reese's Dark Bronze is such a phenomenal uh, anodized finish over aluminum. Okay, So you're going to use this threshold where you're really looking for pretty much the most indestructible piece of weather stripping in terms of a threshold that you can find. Short of literally purchasing, some, purchasing something that's a quarter inch thick, solid aluminum plate. And I would even be tempted to say that something like this would be more substantial than a flat plate which you could easily put a lot of weight into a small surface area and then, you know, cause the material to fail in its installation, okay? 
So this is listed in the website, and not only the a, the a, uh, a finish, forgive me, for mill aluminum, but you change that A to a D, and now you're talking about dark bronze. Listed in the site in lots of different lengths. This happens to be a three-foot length. If you have need for a custom length, by all means let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and indicate in the comment field what length you'd like for us to cut the material back to. And I think really the reasoning for doing that is when you take note of how thick that material is, you may not want to try to cut that because this has been cut very evenly, very straight, very cleanly. Uh, you might want to order the next longest piece, indicate in the comment field the net length, and we'll cut it to that size because that will save you not only the trouble of having to cut it, but also giving you the proper countersink at the proper distance and the proper center as well on that. Okay? You can have, uh, in our site I should say, you can have lengths between 2 foot and 8 foot long. You can order longer than 8 foot. We just don't list them because the cost to ship that material is generally prohibitive. But in an automotive showroom, a car dealership showroom, 10 foot's going to be pretty common. So reach out to us. You can derive the cost per foot because it's sold per foot. If you need 12 foot, we'll look at the 6 foot cost and just double it. It's sold per foot. Uh, so you'll have an idea there of what you're dealing with. Okay. The only thing I'd like is if machine and lead anchors were standard fasteners for this. But these folks are looking to sell aluminum, weather stripping. And uh, you know the variety of different fastener types is practically infinite, right? I'm quite partial to Reese, and that's because I'm always very impressed with the quality, the caliber, the fit and finish. This is just a piece of aluminum, but I don't know that anyone has one so substantially thick in terms of wall thickness. And while this is a, an extreme example of thickness, their aluminum extrusions across their product line seem to be simply thicker than average. They do. That's just my experience. And then, as I said earlier, they're dark bronze anodized is best in class, period. I will use Reese when I want the weather stripping to be as handsome and durable and robust as the thousand, two thousand, five thousand dollar set of exit devices that I'll put on a pair of doors every single time, no questions asked. There's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Reese products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the Reese, number HD5A, heavy duty, saddle type threshold, or any other Reese product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.